You're listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Wednesday, April 20th, 2022. We are also, of course, in the octave of Easter. This week on the Catholic Sprouts podcast, we are talking about Easter, but talking about it by another name, by divine mercy, which we are walking toward on Sunday, the great, big, huge finale celebration of Easter. Now, we've already talked about how Jesus himself asked for this feast, a feast celebrating his mercy, and how on this day, if we go to confession and receive Holy Eucharist, it is like a second baptism. We've already talked about the image that shows the blood from the side of Jesus and the water in lights in rays shooting from his heart, and how we are reminded of the great gift of the Eucharist and the baptism, two incredible signs of Jesus's mercy. Now, this week, we've been talking about miracles associated with the divine mercy. Yesterday, we saw how powerful the divine mercy is at a moment of someone's death and how through praying the divine mercy chaplet with someone as they die, Jesus promises them the final perseverance to fight off the temptations they face in those final moments. Today, we're going to see through another miracle how the divine mercy transforms not only us, but transforms the world. Easter joy should be contagious. The idea that death isn't the end, that we have a God who loves us that conquered death and promises to free us from our sins and bring us with him to heaven. That is the promise of Easter, and that is the promise of the divine mercy that we have been granted mercy, that we should grant mercy to others who have sinned against us. And in those final moments, if we trust in Jesus, nothing, absolutely nothing can keep us from him. Now, today's miracle starts out very sad. A number of years ago, actually not long ago at all, a 17-year-old boy named Dominic was killed instantly in a car crash. It was no one's fault, but his family was devastated. He was a healthy young boy, and this was just such a shock. The family had been practicing for a long time a devotion to the Divine Mercy. They'd actually even been to Poland and visited the tomb of St. Faustina, the nun that Jesus appeared to and delivered the Divine Mercy message. So they loved her. They had long been practicing a devotion to the Divine Mercy. They still were very sad, but they knew that the merciful Jesus was welcoming Dominic into heaven. They also trusted that God would not have called Dominic to heaven if this wasn't part of a bigger plan. And they also trusted that God could use all things for his purpose. So at the funeral, they placed a huge image of the divine mercy of Jesus in the front. And they also placed the divine mercy of Jesus image on the prayer cards. The family at the end got up and talked about how very sad they were, but they also challenged everyone there to really accept the message of the divine mercy, to go from there, to be merciful to others, to choose kindness, and above all else, to trust in Jesus, to accept his mercy that he was so eager to pour out on everyone. Now, it was sad, but in the months that followed, miracles started to occur. Many, many miracles. People that were at that funeral went home and they said that they had dreams of Dominic telling them about the divine mercy message. Others said that they felt Dominic's presence with them, especially as they were making decisions about whether to forgive someone or whether to believe in Jesus. Other people also miraculously had returns to faith after they left this funeral. Now, it is clear that really being dedicated to the divine mercy, the message of trust and hope and love and just dedication to Jesus's mercy can transform the world. It is still very sad what happened, but God can use all things for his good and glorious purpose. 
And so Sprouts, my challenge for you, you have already printed off your Divine Mercy Guide that we shared. Next, I would like to challenge you to pray the Divine Mercy. In that guide, you have all of the words that you need. Next, you just need a rosary. And it is much shorter than a rosary. You can actually say it in less time than it takes to pray the rosary. And I challenge you, my friends, to do that and to really think about how God can transform not only your heart, but the whole world through this simple message, the divine mercy. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow. But until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Once again, a very happy Easter to everyone out there. If you're looking for a great way to incorporate prayer and scripture into this Easter season, then we highly recommend our scripture study, St. Paul's School of the Word. It is a great way to really understand the beautiful letters that St. Paul wrote to the early church. To learn more about this booklet and the study that it can bring to your homes, just check the notes for this podcast episode. This show is a production of the Spoke Street Media Podcast Network. For more great podcasts, visit Spokestreet.com.